What up dude bros, I'm Frank. This is a video review of a few Hammershot repaints. Too long didn't read, they are exactly the same as the original Hammershot, but let's get into the review anyways. Included with each is the blaster, darts, and instructions. Both of these blasters are simply repaints of the original hammer shot. They're mechanically identical. The chrono velocity is the same, the firing performance, everything is pretty much the same. Except they look pretty cool. I had a few requests for this video, so let's get into it. Just to remind you, external overview of the hammer shot starting up at the front. There's no end strike barrel lug, but it does have a five shot rotating cylinder, which can be front loaded very simply. And the cylinder can be spun freely with your fingers, so reloading is pretty quick. And you can set it so four barrels are exposed and only one is obstructed by this beam, so reloading is actually quite quick. But the cylinder doesn't pop out of the blaster like in a strong arm. It's loaded in place. And again, that cylinder holds five rounds. Up top, we have an N-Strike Tactical Rail if you want to put an optic up here or something. And behind that is the hammer action. This is the priming system. It's a spring-powered blaster to prime you to do that. This is unique compared to the strong arm because you can do it one-handed, meaning you can dual wield and shoot two at once. The force required to prime the repaints is identical to the original hammer shot. It doesn't take a tremendous amount of force to prime the blaster, but if you have really small and young hands, it might actually be difficult for you to reach up here. If you're a moderately sized human, it shouldn't be a big deal at all. And if you're a really small person, you can use your off hand and just prime it like that. That's the priming handle. Down to the trigger, the trigger pull is pretty standard. This blaster does not have slam fire. But technically you can fan the blaster, which is holding down the trigger, releasing the priming handle like this. But the performance is pretty terrible, so I really wouldn't recommend it. And now down to the grip. Overall, this is a pretty comfortable grip. It is is again identical to the original hammer shots grip it doesn't feel like a classic blaster like a strong arm or a stripe with that traditional elite proportions it is a little unique but it's pretty comfortable and i think this would be comfortable for a small young hand or an adult hand like mine and at the bottom of the grip we have a sling or a lanyard mount that is an external overview of the hammer shot as i said it is mechanically identical to the original hammer shot now focusing in on the paint job because that's the only difference here this is the original hammer shot looks pretty cool then they have this red one which also looks pretty cool it has these gold lines like you're counting kills like how many zambies you killed you mark it into your blaster, but again, it is structurally and mechanically identical. It's just the paint that has changed. Same with this one. It also looks pretty cool. It's yellow and it has some black like hazard tape, essentially. Reminds me of the caution tape like around a crime scene or something. Pretty snazzy, cool. And the external overview of this blaster is obviously identical because again, it's just a repaint. I don't know why I'm making this review. So that's an external overview of the new Hammershot repaints. I'll show you them both firing. Red one. Yellow one. Operating the hammer shot repaints went exactly as expected. They operate just like the original hammer shot. I can't repeat this enough. It's the same blaster. I did not experience any jams or malfunctions. It operated as expected. To compare these new repaints to others, I put them both up on my chronograph and achieved an average velocity of 65 feet per second with both of them, which is pretty much the same as the original hammer shot. So again, it's a repaint, mechanically identical to the original hammer shot. So that's all the objective information I can provide on these blasters. Now to my personal opinion. Overall, I'm satisfied with the hammer shot. I was satisfied with the original hammer shot and again, these are identical, so I'm equally satisfied with them. I think offering new paint jobs is pretty cool. I'm pretty fond of the yellow and black one. I don't think there's anything wrong with the original hammer shot. It's a nice looking blaster, but now we have more options on the market, which is always better. So overall, I'm satisfied with both of these repaints. If you're in the market for a hammer shot, now you have different colors to choose from. But I know what some of you haters will say, Hasbro, why don't you innovate? Why don't you do cool new stuff? But then they do Elite 2.0. So let's just be happy that they aren't screwing this stuff up. Let's not demand Hasbro innovate or they might try a Zombie Strike 2.0 and completely destroy the design like they did with Elite 2.0. I don't think there's anything wrong with repaints. It's more options available of a high quality mechanical design. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, bro. Because when they try to fix it, they destroy it like Elite 2.0. I'm still salty about that. I know, I'm sorry. It's been months and I'm still so disappointed in Hasbro. <laughs> so that's it. Quick review of the repaints to restate for the 25th time. It's identical to the original hammer shot. If you want a hammer shot, now you have different color options, which is pretty cool. Before purchasing a hammer shot, consider the strong arm disruptor and the quadrot. They're all of similar design, but the significant advantage of the hammer shot is having a hammer action, which means you can operate it with one hand. So if you wanted to dual wield, you totally can, or if you wanted to hold a shield or a capture the flag while you're operating this with one hand, you can. You can't do that with a strong arm or quadrot. It definitely has a place in our hobby. So I suppose I'm happy that Hasbro did not discontinue the hammer shot because it's a good design. How low have our standards fallen? We're not expecting them to innovate or bring us anything new. We're just happy that they aren't screwing up what they've already built. <laughs> what does the world come to? <laughs> 
Hopefully I've laid out all the information to help you with an educated purchase decision. If you'd like to buy one of these, I'll put a purchase link in the description box below. That concludes this video review. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.